Welcome to the weekly weather briefing for January 28, 2019. This is David Cox from the National Weather Service in Jackson, Mississippi. For this briefing, uh, we do have high confidence of 1 to 3 inches of snow with locally higher amounts tonight through mid-morning Tuesday. Hazardous travel conditions on Tuesday morning will be the main impact due to slick roads, bridges, and overpasses. Potential for hard freeze and wind chills in the teens will exist in the wake Tuesday and Tuesday night and drier and moderating conditions mid to late week. We do continue to expect accumulating snow tonight, as mentioned before, over a, a portion of the area, widespread portion, uh, but starting tonight uh, around 9 o'clock or so in the Arklemis Delta as it progresses southeast somewhere around midnight or so in central Mississippi and uh, northeast Louisiana and across most of the area and then near daybreak in southeast Mississippi. Uh, one to three inches with locally higher amounts uh, are possible and elsewhere up to an inch to a dusting. Uh, the main things that we are concerned about with it snowing and in the 20s, uh, hazardous travel uh, will develop uh, or could develop uh, as snow uh, roads become snow covered or bridges and, and overpasses may become snow covered and slick. In addition, temperatures will fall well below freezing with wind chills falling into the teens uh, even through uh, Tuesday afternoon. Here's the expected snowfall accumulation through Tuesday. Uh, snow totals range between one to three inches with locally higher amounts possible across the northern third of the area. Uh, dusting to an inch is possible elsewhere. However, uh, some of that axis could potentially shift possibly a little further south. Uh, regardless, don't focus too much on the shift or amounts. Uh, with it snowing in the 20s and warm the day prior, we still expect roads, bridges, and overpasses and uh, travel to be impacted. Here's a for central and eastern Mississippi and winter weather advisory across the Arklemis Delta, the western and southern two-thirds of the region. Uh, right now, that will begin late tonight across the Delta, transitioning further south and southeast overnight hours. Uh, as mentioned before, some guidance shows a slightly slower progression uh, of that cold uh, overlapping with that moisture, potentially across uh, portions of the Delta. However, uh, don't focus too much on that as that winter storm warning and some of these areas could slightly shift, uh, but impact should remain fairly consistent. In addition, that uh, snowfall will transition across the area for only a few hours, probably between two to four hours. So as mentioned before, we'll be warm today and then Drastic Arctic front and rain transitioning over to snow late tonight, progressing east-southeast through daybreak with bitter cold and wind chills. And as just to show you, uh, right in the wake of this cold front is where we'll be transitioning. So it will be a short period of time uh, that that will change over for between two to four hours. And then on Tuesday, it'll be a lingering into mid-morning and then moving out into the afternoon. And we should clear out with uh, the clouds clearing out with afternoon wind chills down into the 20s and teens even in the morning. Lows will fall well into the low to mid-20s with some teens possible overnight into Wednesday morning. Here's the weekly forecast. Expect drastic change in the pattern tonight and Tuesday with that Arctic air mass with rain changing over to snow and snowing in the 20s with much colder temperatures in the wake and moderating conditions later into the week. So in summary, high confidence of one to three inches of snow with locally higher amounts tonight through mid-morning Tuesday. Uh, do not focus on the exact axis of that as hazardous travel conditions on Tuesday morning will be the main impact due to slick roads, bridges, and overpasses. Potential for hard freeze and wind chills in the teens will exist in the wake Tuesday and Tuesday night, and drier and moderating conditions are expected mid to late week. Thanks for viewing this weather briefing. These are usually conducted Mondays, sometimes on Thursdays, or in special weather cases. If you have any feedback or suggestions, please contact us at the number provided or Facebook, Twitter. Thank you.